Hey everybody, welcome to Jerry BS Corner. Today's video, we're gonna look at an OBD scanner that was sent to me by Ansel. And over this past little while, people have been sending me a lot of things to review. And this OBD2 scanner, I'm gonna classify it as a budget scanner for the normal everyday person. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I have a Snap-on scanner and a Matco scanner, which are high-end and can do a lot of functions. Whereas these budget scanners can only read codes, maybe do instant ready, monitor, uh, live data. That's pretty much it. But anyways, let's have a look at it. This is how it looks right in the package. I'm not sure what's going on with that screensaver there. Screen protector, but it's pretty savage looking. Comes with a USB cable, maybe for some updates or something. Plugs in the back. This is basically how it is. Nice cross, enter, exit, IM. Got a cord, maybe two and a half, three feet. Let's test this out. So I just booted it up and it's got kind of a nice screen there. It's even got a look up. Oh, I guess it's not touch screen. My bad. Uh, let's go P0. So I just punched in a code to see what it would say. And P0320 comes up as ignition distributor engine speed input circuit. Mail status off. See if there's any codes. No codes. No pending. Do the O2 sensor test. The vehicle does not support. It's coming up as a lot of these tests are not supported. Just clicked on the instant readiness. Cats is big X because I don't have the catalytic converters anymore. I gutted them. What it comes down to, which is important, is be able to read the live data. Right now, my fuel system's in closed loop. It says 27% load, which uh, I think that's. Bunch of crap. Short term fuel trim. Pretty close to zero. Long term zero. Short term long terms. No vacuum leaks. RPM. Spark advance. Intake air temperature. MAF. Overall, this thing's pretty neat. It's got your functions. The only thing I wish is that the enter button was over here where my thumb is instead of over here. It's easier to scroll and hit the enter here than it doesn't feel natural to hit it there, but whatever. Let's trigger something on the engine that possibly that scanner might be able to pick up. So there's no engine code. So let's go into read codes. Let's go pending. And it looks like intake air temperature sensor one. Circuit high bank. So that's pretty good there. I disconnected another sensor. See what happens. There we go. Camshaft position actuator. Open bank. Now Let's go back in. Let's go erase those pending codes. Let's go read codes. Let's go pending. Yeah, so it can erase them as well. Now it comes down to what are my thoughts? Already besides for the button feature, how enter should have been here. This does what it says it's supposed to do, it can read codes. I did pending codes, did a pretty good job of that. I do like the fact that you can enter a code and it'll tell you. 
won't tell you you know what to look for obviously but it'll give you more of an idea like I said for a budget scanner under 100 bucks these are like any other OBD2 scanner they will scan your engine look for basic faults and help you out that being said I want to thank you Ansel for sending me the scanner it does what it's supposed to do and I don't know there's nothing else I can really say about that I'll add it to my collection I probably got like 20 scanners now I'll never run out so if you guys have any questions or comments post them below otherwise I want to thank you guys for watching